time, a little rusty. Uh, hey, this is Erwin Max Proud Channel, and this is um, less about a bass, but more about a bass pickup. Uh, this one right here. This is called, this is made by Seymour Duncan. These are the Seymour Duncan bass line, uh, Music Man 4 pickup, uh, plus tone circuit. Now, they offer the, this pickup on its own, which is very nice, but this is the, um, the package where you get the pickup and this tone circuit uh, sort of preamp thing that comes with it uh, that uh, gives you as probably as close as the Music Man sound that you possibly can. This is like offered as a replacement pickup if anything happens to your original Music Man pickup. So it's a very nice pickup and I'm going to go into it further. Um, right now I'm going to do something I promised. I uh, promised to uh, shout out my man Elvis Pimentel. Elvis Pimentel, look him up. Um, he's in the bass and uh, he's trying to get ahead um, on this uh, beautiful bass instrument here. Uh, Elvis Pimentel. Uh, let me let me spell that for you. Well, Elvis E L V I S Pim space Pimentel. I think I'm um, you know pronouncing it right. P I M E N T E L Pimentel. Not Pimento, Pimentel. Elvis Pimentel, man. What's up, man? Thanks for um, checking me out and following my channel. He's a, a big fan, and I appreciate it. Uh, this, like I said, is the Seymour Duncan Bass Lines uh, Music Man uh, humbucking uh, pickup, plus a tone circuit that was put in. I can't show you the turn circuit behind, behind the pick guard here. And It gives uh, you a very nice um, Music Man sound, and um, this pickup uh, alone, you know how they offer it, is about oh, about a little over eighty bucks or more. Uh, with the uh, tone circuit, it comes out to about anywhere from uh, one eighty to one ninety five or something like that. Ninety five plus tax, you might as well say two hundred dollars. And um, this uh, particular bass, this uh, obviously. Uh, a uh, Stingray copy. Uh, something I saw on eBay, real cheap, is about 150 bucks plus shipping, and uh, some from some company called Carol's Universal Music. Okay, I don't know where they're from or you know what country, but uh, apparently I took a chance. Uh, saw some good reviews on this bass, so one hand got it, and uh, it plays well, uh, very well constructed, very lightweight, which is always a plus. So I said, okay, but it just played, you know, a uh, regular passive, and I said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make the investment of uh, this uh, pickup and tone circuit and put it in and see what happens. And done a great job. Currently, uh, uh, this uh, pickup configuration, I have uh, two bases in which I have uh, this uh, in, and it's uh, very nice. Very, very nice. Nice, nice, nice sound. Uh, close to the music, man. So anytime I'm running out here and I just need to grab a bass with a nice sound, here it is. And I didn't spend quite 400 bucks on it. So, you know, so it's uh, really nice. And, uh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> so, um, uh, as always, you know, I, I ask people out there if uh, you've had any experience with any of the products that I've uh, showed out there, you know, give me a... Uh, you know, write me a line, tell me how you feel about uh, this particular uh, pickup and tone circuit that comes with it. And um, that's it for this uh, real quick uh, Max Proud uh, video. And I'll get back to you. I'll try to do more on different pickups because there's so many pickups that I've tried uh, and uh, uh, used on bases that I, I really need to get into those more. Uh, you know, broaden the horizon. So I'm going to do that. Uh, shout out again to Elvis Pimentel. And uh, one of my dear fans, and I will get back to you on the uh, Match Project channel. I know I'm kind of scrunched up down here, but I really wanted to show you the pickup, you know. Until next pickup and next base, everybody.